We're constantly re-engineering everything that we do. We're problem solvers by nature, even the drivers. A lot of people think that our drivers have somebody that brings the stuff for them and works on it, which isn't true. Our drivers actually drive the semi with the truck in it. They get it to where it's got to go. They get it out. They tire it up themselves. They do the event. They sign the autographs. If they break it, they work on it and they fix it on the road. Every last person here is an innovator. Whether it's modifying shock parts, whether it's tire and wheel, or whether it's knuckle design, um, we take something most of the time that is pre-existing and modify it or we just build it 100% ourselves. The biggest problem that we're faced with is that even if you can buy a manufactured part, we either have to modify it in some way or add something to it to utilize it on a monster truck just because of the sheer weight and the things that we do with the truck all the time. It's just so hard on parts. This is a really good example of how we do that. This was designed to be for use with heavy equipment where it doesn't see the shock load that we, that we show our trucks all the time. So we have to be innovators in that. And yeah, we reverse engineer some things every once in a while, but we also come up with new ideas on how to do things a little different. We learn from what we see that's broken and we all kind of sit down and go through it and say, okay, well, how can we this or, or what could we do different? And that's realistically the progression of, of everything that we do here. We're faced with a lot of challenges. We run a very small crew, so there's not that many of us. And the drivers that we have are phenomenal drivers and they spend a lot of time talking to the guys in the shop. We spend a lot of time with them out on the road, learning what the truck's doing. The drivers will say, hey, it's doing this. And we'll try to sit down together and look at it. But, but honestly, without everybody's help and a team effort, we would never get through it anyway. So we do a lot with a little. Bigfoot has kind of reached a position now where we've kind of decided that we're not going to build a new truck until we can make some serious innovations or at least bare minimum make it perform better or outperform 21. 22 has been discussed. Um, we're talking about possibly changing the chassis and other than that, that's probably all I'm gonna say.